One would think that it is 1964 instead of 2024. On Thursday, the South Carolina Legislative Black Caucus rallying against a diversity, equity, and inclusion proposal passed by House lawmakers. The proposal would ban the use of those factors when state colleges and universities determine who to hire and which students to admit. Also, the plan would no longer require diversity training. The truth is, we are trying to solve a problem in South Carolina that does not exist. I believe there's been a mischaracterization of what DEI truly is. This bill should give everybody equal footing and allow everybody to be judged not on what group they identify with, but by the merits of their own actions. Horry County Republican Tim McGinnis is the main sponsor of the plan that passed on a lopsided 84 to 30 vote. The plan does not define what DEI is and would allow universities to keep their DEI programs, but they would also be required to report to lawmakers how much those programs cost and how complaints against them are resolved. Opponents say if the plan eventually becomes law, it would impact certain groups of people and not everyone's voices were taken into account when the plan was drafted. This legislation was drafted by members of this General Assembly and did not include anybody at the table that looked like me. When we try to target a specific group of people and make the language intentionally vague, we don't realize that we are also going to negatively affect students, like how they mentioned at the deaf and blind school, or students who may have other types of barriers ahead of them besides race. This bill was not, it's not intended to, um, to marginalize anybody. This bill is meant to give everybody's voice, to allow everybody's voice to be heard. To stay up to date with this story and more, make sure you subscribe to our Watch Fox YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you never miss an update.